Revision rhinoplasty can really fall into two groups. It can be refinement, a little bit more surgery because the surgeon and the patient still think a little bit more improvement is possible, even if really good surgery was done the first time. There's also secondary rhinoplasty, and on the whole, secondary rhinoplasty is for surgery done the first time that's resulted in a bad outcome. I have a lot of experience of secondary rhinoplasty. It's difficult. Unpredictability is always there in a primary rhinoplasty. It's even more so in a secondary or revision rhinoplasty. You can't predict necessarily what you're going to find. The tissues are scarred. There's poor material to work with. The skin is not very elastic. So what you can achieve may be less in a secondary or revision rhinoplasty than in a primary rhinoplasty. Your best chance is always the first chance. Secondary or revision rhinoplasty may require rebuilding the nose and your surgeon should know how to use rib cartilage. Your surgeon should know how to use ear cartilage. Your surgeon might have to use skin and cartilage from somewhere else. So you need to ask your surgeon these questions if you're embarking upon a revision rhinoplasty. I think it's also true to bear in mind that revision rhinoplasty itself might need further surgery. And in my practice, difficult revision rhinoplasty is more likely to need yet another operation to fine tune that than if I'm doing a rhinoplasty for the first time. And lastly, the other thing I will consider if seeing someone for a secondary rhinoplasty is, would I have done their first rhinoplasty? Sometimes patients who request secondary rhinoplasty are very particular and their expectations could never have been met. So in those circumstances, I will say no to secondary rhinoplasty.